Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I will be going through some last minute tips for GCSE biology. So let's get straight into the video. My first tip for biology is to remember to bring in a calculator. It's something that a lot of people do know already but some people may forget because biology doesn't seem like it would have maths in it but I'm pretty sure 10% of the paper is math so just make sure you bring a calculator. I don't know how you guys have been revising for biology, but make sure you use keywords for whatever topic you're answering a question on so that you can get more marks in the question you're answering and not lose key marks that you would have got if you'd use those keywords. For example, if you're answering a question on like genes or something, make sure you say heterozygous or homozygous in terms of how the alleles work. Also, for the homeostasis topic, they really like to talk about either hormones or nerves. So make sure you like remember some details about them or like look over them before the exam and try to look over the differences between them because they could ask that. Furthermore, in biology, they like to use things that you may not have previously studied, but they're things that you should be able to get based on your own knowledge. So just make sure to use your own knowledge to relate to the question. For example, in one of the biology papers, they use carrots instead of potatoes for osmosis, but it's literally the same thing. They're both vegetables. So just remember that anything they ask you, you have revised and or you have done it in school. So do not panic if you see something that you don't think you've ever seen. Another tip is to just make sure to not leave any answers blank. There's no way you'll get any marks by leaving an answer blank, but by saying anything, even if there's a very small percentage chance that you will actually get the right answer, please just put something. Because that chance that you get the mark could get you the grade that you want in the exam. Now that is all my tips for this video. This is our last biology exam, so just make sure you just do your best. And finally, just make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.